Welcome back to the Build Day Live here at Supermicro. For this video, I'm joined by Frank Lai. Welcome, Frank. Uh, thank you. So, Frank, what's your role here at Supermicro? Um, I'm a solution manager. Okay. And we're particularly looking at some of the pretty amazingly dense storage products, talking about some of the storage products that you have. Tell us a, a little, what is different about the product? What are the, the sort of headline capabilities of it? Yes, the product line that I'm going to talk about today is our 45 bay and 60 bay storage server in JBA. And uh, we specifically build this server to serve uh, a broad spectrum of audiences. Um, they are top loading. Uh, they come with the uh, uh, super micro feature SIOM network module. Mm -hmm. So that gives this product um, a very versatile in personalities. So we have uh, 15 hard drives across the width of the unit and either three rows deep or four rows deep for the 45 or 60. Yes. Yeah, and all standing on end, so there's no back plane impeding the airflow front to back. No. And yes. then in this, this storage server personality, there's actually a motherboard at the bottom as well. Exactly. Right. And so then I could presumably put whatever operating system I want on there. Exactly. Uh, what are you seeing people deploying in production in these things? Yes, we see people that deploy that with uh, uh, Windows storage spaces, mm -hmm. and we also see people that put Linux and running Ceph on these servers. Right, and so either multi-protocol or, or often just a, um, a, a block, uh, sorry, a, a, an object store, and presumably grouping a bunch of them together for Ceph to make a, a really massive Oh, exactly. We cluster. have a, a, a machine learning and AI uh, customer that use it. Uh, for uh, for both uh, file system and a uh, block storage, right, and combined in, in that one Ceph cluster. Exactly. There must be some pretty serious engineering around making these hard drives stood on end, and a, a lot of them, because the, the, the sort of rotational energy and, and vibration can become a really significant issue in this. We've particularly seen this as. Um, a similar architecture from st from some other storage vendors. They talk about the reliability of, of the platform. Has, has there been some fairly serious engineering going on to oh, make yes. this reliable? Yes, yes. Um, as you know, that these servers are top loading. So um, to keep it going, the maintenance, you have to put it out. And so with uh, so many hard drives that you, you put into a single server, all together they can create a challenge in terms of uh, creating enough vibration and to reduce the data throughput. So we kind of test it out and make sure that they do very well when they sit in the rack. Mm -hmm. And also they do equally well when you put it out, when you do need so to maintain on the end it. The, on the end of the arms, you've now got 60 hard drives. So <laughs> quite a lot of weight hanging out on the end of it, still sufficiently mm -hmm. physically stable that, it, that the performance isn't degraded. Exactly. Nice. That's why we uh, make sure that we deliver a quality both in and out. And you also mentioned just before we were on camera that these things aren't just hard drives. You've actually got some NVMe storage in order to, to give us some options around performance. Exactly. With the modern storage technology, people are hungry for performance. And most of the time, it's not only reading the data from the hard drive. Most of the time is when we need to collect the data and put it into the hard drive, put it into the SSD. So, so when you see a scenario like that, you never short of the right throughput. And to make the ride so smooth, you need to have a journal drive because hard drive is a, a good technology for holding a lot of data, but yeah. they are not good in writing at the same so time. So they're good at, at large writes, they're really bad at small writes. Exactly. <laughs> and so, so we kind of are putting a, a MVME tray that you, you are able to load up up to six MVME drive, and that way will give you uh, enormous uh, scalability and Re reduce the latency a lot. Right, and that's the, the journal volume that's, that's dealing with all of the, the exactly. right coalescing. And nice. Um, what else do we want to talk about these? So th there is another personality for this as well. We've talked about it as a storage server with a motherboard in it, but you also have a model of this as a, was this one that you had a JBOD, a yes. JBOD version well, as well? Yes, the 45 bay and 60 bay does come with the JBOD version, and that worked with the server very well. And I believe uh, with the JBot, you do not necessarily need to uh, mount it with the 45 base server or 60 base server. Actually, the JBot, you can uh, uh, daisy chain them. You can cascade them. And so that you can build your own uh, like uh, uh, different data temperature solutions 
You can create it hot by putting SSD. You can make it a cold storage by putting hard drive or even archive drive. So those JBAR come in handy and help you to shape your data uh, needs uh, at different scale and different needs. What are the largest hard drives that you're actually certifying to go inside these? Um, I believe we certify it with the latest and largest 14 terabyte drive. 14 terabyte hard drive times 60. Even oh, there's a, a lot. Uh, yeah. It's reaching the petabyte scale. But at the same time, we balance the performance so you can get both out of the same server and the JBOD. Right, and the JBOD, you, you might well use the 60 uh, drives at 14 terabytes as one shelf of storage of, of your, your coldest tier, maybe your backup tier, and have another shelf that might be some NVMe storage that's, if, if what you could put inside the storage server wasn't enough. Yes. And we were talking before about using the storage server version as a backup repository for things like Veeam. Yes. Um, that's a use case you're seeing fairly extensively? Yes. Um, well, actually, uh, when I meet with customer, they love it, okay? Because um, when you come to the storage, no one, everyone is looking for a, a cost and performance. And by putting uh, Windows storage spaces and the Veeam all together, that actually create the sweet spot that most of the IT uh, professional is looking for. Um, most of the IT is facing the challenge of ever-growing uh, virtual machines. Either they use VMware or they use Hyper-V, and with, uh, when they see a solution like this, it's, it can help them to back up both uh, a VMware or Hyper-V, but at the same time, uh, the solution will help them to bring up the availability because people moving workload into uh, the virtual machines, they really put serious workload on it mm -hmm. and they want better protection, not just only backup and restore, but they, can, they want to make sure that they always run safely. Excellent. And one of the interesting things we talked about also was a, a competitive position. And now no, we don't normally talk a lot about competitive, but I really like the, some insight that you had that there was a competitive situation where the other vendor had some numbers on, on the initial comparison that looked better. They had a larger number of drives. and uh, But when the customer worked through it, they looked more at the, the total cost rather than just some headline numbers. Can you talk us a little bit through that? Oh, sure. Um, you know, storage server come in different sizes, and most of people judge the storage server by the size they need. But that it, that is not the only aspect you want to look into. Um, there is a one time that we we come across a customer juggling between our sixty bay and a seventy two bay from a, a different uh, a vendors, and they look into the pricing. Uh, we are a bit uh, more uh, expensive, but when you um, just you know, looking uh, how this server performed, they suddenly realized that actually we delivered twice the uh, right throughput and deliver exactly what the customer needs. And so um, understanding that actually we are not any pricey than any vendors, actually we deliver the performance with the right price and it's no brainer. They, they, they find what they need, they go with the super micro. And double the right performance means your backup completes in half the time. Which is exactly which quite most a people thing. doesn't see by just you know looking to the number, number of drives drive it supports. Mm -hmm. It's just because a nice architecture that we put together and the way that we architect it. Great. Well, thank you very much um, for running us through these scale out storage environments, and thank you very much for joining us on this video. Stay tuned for more V Brown Bag Build Day live at Supermicro. Yep, you're welcome. <laughs>